Hello, in my investigative video, we found the idea of keep change flip. So in dividing one fraction by another. So if I took my first fraction and keep it, I change my division for a multiplication, and then I flip the second fraction, A over B, to make it B over A, and I got the same answer. So let's see if we can prove that mathematically. I'm going to use this example first. 5 sevenths divided by 2 thirds. Does it equal 5 sevenths times 3 over 2? So I've got that written on this page here. So let's start then. I've got 5 sevenths divided by 2 thirds. Now we know that division um, is the same as writing a fraction, isn't it? So if I just had the 5 and the 2 there, 5 divided by 2 would be 5 over 2, wouldn't it? So we can do the same with the fractions. The numerator is going to be the 5 sevenths, the 2 thirds is going to become our denominator. So there we have, we've written it as a fraction. Now, we also know from equivalent fractions that I can multiply that fraction by um, to get an equivalent fraction by multiplying it by any number. Um, could be 4, could be 3, could be 2, could be 7, as long as it's the same number on the top and bottom. Yeah, so I could have multiplied by 7, top and bottom, couldn't I? Something like that. But in this case, I've chosen to multiply top and bottom by 3 over 2. And I've chosen 3 over 2 because it's the reciprocal of 2 over 3. Yeah, And that will help us in a minute. So now I know I've got these two fractions to multiply together. And we know how to multiply fractions, don't we? We just multiply the tops and we multiply the bottoms. So I've rewritten it so we can see that. On the top, we've got 5 sevenths times 3 over 2. On the bottom, we've got 2 thirds times 3 over 2. Now, let's look at the top. 5 sevenths times 3 over 2 is where we want to get to, isn't it? Because that's keep, change, flip. That's what we're expecting to prove. So we've got to work out what's happening down here in the denominator. So 2 thirds times 3 over 2. Well, we know how to multiply fractions, don't we? We multiply tops, multiply bottoms. 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 times 2 is 6. Now we've got a fraction 6 over 6. Well, what does that simplify to? That simplifies to 1, doesn't it? 6 over 6 is 1. So now I've got a number here, the KCF bit. Keep change flip. And divided by 1. Well, any number divided by 1 is just itself, isn't it? 10 divided by 1 is 1. 60 divided by 1 is 60. And 1 half divided by 1 is a half. So... We can just ignore this divide by 1, can't we? And what we're left with? We're left with 5 sevenths times 3 over 2. So what have we done? We've proved that 5 sevenths divided by 2 thirds will always equal 5 sevenths multiplied by 3 over 2. And it's these are the steps that are really important, aren't they? The equivalent fraction step there. And I could do the same thing using letters, couldn't I, to make it more general. P over Q divided by A over B. I could show that division as a fraction. I can then make an equivalent fraction by multiplying by B over A as the reciprocal of A over B. That means I've got the right value on the top of when I do my multiplication. Yeah, let's keep change flip. That's what I wanted to get to. On the denominator, I've got A over B times B over A, which is a fraction multiplication is the same as A times B over B times A, which is always going to be the same number top and bottom, which is going to give me my 1 in my denominator. And therefore, any, um, any fraction here, whatever I've got on the top, whatever this value is here, divided by 1. Well, I don't need to bother to divide by 1. I've just got the answer, haven't I? I've just got whatever I had in my original number on the top, the numerator. So what have I proved? P over Q divided by A over B equals P over Q times B over A. Yeah, that's what we wrote in the summary before. Just to bear in mind, of course, that P, Q, A and B cannot equal zero because that will mess up because either multiplying by zero or dividing by zero. So as long as they're all whole numbers, this works. So there you go. One for you to memorise for the future, particularly if you're going to go on to get a high GCSE score or an A-level.